Hey guys, it's Amber Sanders here and I am a vlogger slash singer on YouTube and you are watching Jammin Music Man. Don't forget to subscribe guys and leave a big thumbs up. Hello ghouls and gals and welcome to my special new DVD review and today I'm going to be reviewing Tales from the Crypt Season 1. What's up guys, it's me Jammin' Music Man and with the Halloween season upon us I've been going back and reviewing some of my favorite horror movies but today I'm going to be reviewing one of my all time favorite horror TV shows where I'm just going to talk about the episode listings, what special features you get with this set, and whether or not I recommend you picking it up or not. But first off, this DVD set has been out since 2005. So here it is, 2017. So it's been out quite some time, and I picked this up at my local Walmart many years ago, and I know it's still there uh, right now, and I believe it's going for like $9.99. So if you're interested in wanting to pick it up, it's still at Walmart. But uh, just to give you a brief little history of Tales from the Crypt, it was an actual comic book series from the 1950s. Uh, it was published by EC Comics, and EC Comics also, they published another horror comic series called Vault of Horror, and they also published like, you know, I believe a couple like superhero comics, detective comics, but Tales from the Crypt was very popular back in the 50s, but it wasn't until like the mid 50s, Mid to late 50s when a lot of lawmakers were, you know, coming hard down on comics. And, you know, definitely uh, Tales from the Crypt was, you know, enemy number one with a lot of the lawmakers. And they came down hard on EC Comics and EC Comics eventually, eventually you know, they went under. And I know a lot of the people that worked there ended up working for Mad Magazine and staying there for many years. But Tales from the Crypt, it had a loyal fan base. Uh... Throughout the years, I know Stephen King was a fan of the Tales from the Crypt comics, of course. Stephen King, you know, he created the Creepshow movies. Uh, R.L. Stein, who wrote uh, the children's horror series Goosebumps, he was definitely influenced by Tales from the Crypt. But Tales from the Crypt TV show didn't... Uh, make its debut on television until 1989. And it for me, it was one of those first big hit series on like HBO. I remember as a kid, man, only if I had HBO, I could watch Tales from the Crypt. And I want to say Tales from, from the Crypt was one of those first big cable TV series because, you know, we now live in a world where all the great shows are on Netflix or cable. For me, this was like one of the first ones I remember that, man, if I had cable, I had Tales from the Crypt. But that's another story for another time. And, uh, a lot of top movie filmmakers like Richard Donner, um, Joel Silver, Robert Zemeckis, they helped produce and I believe they directed a couple of episodes from season one of Tales from the Crypt. And, you know, Tales from the Crypt uh, made its debut in 1989 and would go on uh, to like 1996, I believe, and there was like seven seasons. But this is the first season right here, and you only get... Uh, six episodes, and a lot of these episodes right here, you get a lot of notable uh, actors like Leah Thompson's in here, and uh, I can't remember the actor's name. He was in The Goonies and The Matrix. He's in here, but you know, six short episodes. Um, open it up right here. All right, guys, now I'm gonna give you the episode listings from Tales from the Crypt season one. Uh, episode one was the man who was death. Basically, it's about this executioner, and he's executing all these, you know, inmates until eventually he commits murder himself, and he becomes the executed. Uh, episode two is in All Through the House, which is about a killer Santa Claus. One of my all-time favorite episodes. Episode three is Dig That Cat. He's real gone. Uh, basically, in this episode, uh... It's about this guy, he ends up making this deal with like this crazy doctor scientist guy where he ends up having nine lives just like a cat. And so eventually he ends up joining like this circus sideshow where he's letting people kill him and he's coming back to life and he's making all this money. Eventually his luck runs out. 
Uh, episode four is only sin deep, which stars Leah Thompson as like this call girl, and she's like down on her luck, and you know she wishes she could have you know the lifestyles of the rich and famous kind of life until she goes into this pawn shop and she meets this kind of like creepy guy and she ends up pawning her looks because really the guy who owns the pawn shop his dead wife is in the back and he's trying to get her youth youthful looks back but Liv Thompson's character as soon as she pawns her looks all these bad things start start happening to her uh, her boyfriend ends up leaving her. She starts getting wrinkles until eventually she's looking like an old hag. But great episode. One of my favorites from this season. Uh, number five is Lover Come Hack to Me. Basically, it's about this kind of, you know, shyster kind of a guy. He ends up marrying this woman and he thinks he's marrying her for money and he thinks she's all sweet and innocent until eventually they get married and on their honeymoon and after they do their uh, business he wakes up and he realizes that uh, his now wife is with another guy you know she he's trying to you know talk to her nobody can hear him why because he's a ghost he's been murdered great episode uh, episode six is collection completed another one of my favorites from this season it's about this old couple and this the husband in the couple he's retired after 20 30 something years of work and his wife she doesn't have a job she just stays at home and her she talks to the animals those are her best friends and eventually you know when, when the husband you know get settled being retired you know he's getting sick and tired of all these animals in the house so eventually he ends up taking up uh, taxidermy and he ends up killing a lot of his wife's pets well you know she snaps she ends up killing him and he becomes let's just say stuffed but those are the six great episodes uh, you get with Tales from the Crypt season one now disc two you get special features, Tales from the Crypt, from comic books to television, where it tells you the story about, you know, how Tales from the Crypt, the comic series, came to be. And you get a great, uh, you know, documentary of how, you know, EC Comics started from the rise into the fall. So you get a great documentary, and also you get another special feature called Crypt Keeper's History of Season 1, where you get the Crypt Keeper himself. Just telling you about some of his favorite moments from this season. But now I'm going to let you guys get a good look of what it looks like on the inside. Alright folks, what you're looking at right here is the slip case for the first season of Tales from the Crypt. And there you see the man himself, the Crypt Keeper. And I love this DVD slip case right here. Looks like an actual Tales from the Crypt comic book from the 1950s. But we'll just take it off right here. And of course, the DVD case in the inside looks the same as the slip cover. But this is what it looks like inside. You get six great episodes. Um, there you see a good look at the Crypt Keeper, the Killer Santa Claus. There you get Leah Thompson. But episode one, The Man Who Was Death. Uh, episode 2 and all through the house which I gotta say that's my favorite episode from this season I just love a good killer Santa Claus number 3 uh, dig that cat he's real gone uh, episode 4 only sin deep that's the one with Lid Thompson but this is what uh, the discs look like inside and there you see you get a good look of shift crypt keeper and this is uh, the special uh, bonus disc, which has the uh, special features. You get a great documentary on uh, the creator of uh, Tales from the Crypt. And there you see that's what it looks like on that side. And we flip it over over here. And of course... Uh, you get uh, Lover Come Hack to Me, Episode 5, and another great episode from this season, uh, Collection Completed. And then you see you get the Crypt Keeper here with Disc 2 Special Features. 
Tales from the Crypt from comic books to television. I really enjoyed that documentary. And then you also get Crypt Keepers uh, History of Season 1. But this is what it looks like on the inside of the complete first season uh, DVD case. I hope you guys enjoy taking a peek at Tales from the Crypt Season 1. So, alright guys, there you see a good look of what it looks like on the inside. Now, in the closing of this video, do I recommend you picking up Tales from the Crypt Season 1 on DVD? Of course, I'm going to say yes. Uh, like I said, this is at your local Walmart right now for $9.99. I believe you can get all the seasons of Tales from the Crypt for $9.99 at your local Walmart. And like I said, this DVD set has been out since 2005, so, you know... It's been out for quite some time now, but, you know, Tales from the Crypt, definitely one of my all-time favorite horror TV shows. Uh, I know during this time, another great horror TV show, Tales from the Dark Side, was very popular. And then there was another show called Monsters. I believe, yeah, Monsters was another, like, great horror TV show at the time. But definitely Tales from the Crypt, definitely... A hard TV classic and you definitely got to have it in your collection and if you're a fan of this series hey man you got to go pick it up but guys I hope you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe leave me a comment and uh, in closing here's your question or here's my question to you what was your favorite episode from season one I'd love to know but guys I'm jamming music man thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time